Jared Kushner's Mr. back Kush in the news. But the funny part baby. about Jared Kushner, let's 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 bring. So uh, over the past week, we have seen Republicans and the Trump White House attack the special prosecutor in this Russia election investigation, Mueller. They've attacked, which is like he is above oh reproach. Exactly. Like, <laughs> and they've attacked him. No, wait for it, America. Wait for it. They've oh, attacked him God. because he's hired individuals that gave money to Democrats. Right. Right, mind you, Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner hosted a fundraiser for Cory Booker in their Manhattan condo in Man in, in in a couple months ago. Right, right. So they also gave money to Democrats, but I digress. But Jared Kushner has now hired a progre a progressive Democrat and a friend of Hillary, of Hillary Clinton to be his lawyer. Yes, indeed, America, it is true. Just when the going got tough for the Trump administration and this investigation heats up, Jared Kushner hires super lawyer Jamie Gorlick. Gorlick was a deputy attorney general under Bill Clinton and a fundraiser for Hillary in 2016. And he is a personal friend of Hillary Clinton. Kushner initially consulted with Gorlick over his conflict of interest. Now the legal waters have heated up, and now Gorlick is officially the lawyer of record for Jared Kushner. Yeah, this is pretty interesting because it definitely tells you that uh, when the rubber hits the road and you know Jay Kush is worried about his own ass, he is more than willing to go down whatever party line he wants. Right, and that's my point. So when they like berate Democrats and blame us for being obstructionists, <laughs> and then they go hire the friend, well, excuse me, lying Hillary's best bud right. to be your lawyer. The attorney who's <laughs> best friends with lying Hillary. But this doesn't, like, this isn't escaping from Trump and because people forget that, remember, it wasn't too long ago before Omarosa attended a Ready for Hillary event, but now right. she's a Trump Republican. Yeah, she's uh, Make America Great Again. So this is just part of the course for the Trump administration. Sure, but I mean, it's whatever's convenient. And listen, I'm, it's not lost on me that if it was more beneficial for Donald Trump to be a Democrat, he would be a Democrat. Like, if, if Democrats were giving out handouts like it was candy, I mean, and they do, but not like Republicans, um, I think Donald Trump would be fine with being a Democrat. Right, uh, he was a Democrat. Right. A couple of decades ago, he gave money to Planned Parenthood, who he's now trying to defund. So Donald Trump, like I mean, as, like I respect the fact he's president of the United States, but like he is an opportunist at his finest, sure. and so now it's at the opportune time to bash Democrats. So he's going to blame Democrats for every problem under the sun, even though in the House Democrats could just all leave, and all the Republicans will still pass. In the <laughs> Senate, for everything he wants in his agenda right now, yeah, he doesn't need. He Democrats. doesn't even need Democrats. So the argument that Democrats are the one holding up the process is insane. It's insane. If you get your people in line, which is what you're supposed to do. You wouldn't have that problems. problem. And you've never ever, he didn't even, like, he didn't even usually do the usual presidential olive branch to Democrats, which yeah. is, we will say. No, not to be on the photo op. Usually most presidents will leave one cabinet secretary in place. Mm. So for, Ob for Obama, he left um, Gates in place. George Bush, I think it was Norm Mineta, stayed around for a year or two before he appointed a new transportation secretary. You usually try to say, as an era of bipartisanship, I'm going to keep one person from the previous administration. Donald Trump not only fired all the cabinet secretaries on day one, but he also fired all the U.S. assistant attorneys. He <laughs> gutted the climate change office. Yep. Just a, a, a shit show of epic proportion. Yep. Okay. So now, America, now he's like, oh, Democrats, they don't love me. They don't like me. They're obstructionist. You're an obstructionist, sir. By you obstructed, definition. by definition. He's obstructing spent, the func functioning of American government. Not to mention right? the fact he spent eight years campaigning and talking about President Obama's birth certificate. Yeah. The king of obstruction. Anyway, that clock on the wall tells me it's time for us to go to a break. 